Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Wonderful. All right. Can the stream hear me there? Uh, we'll just do a quick sound check on the stream. Can you hear us on the stream? Testing, anyone? Yeah, we can hear us. Awesome. Sweet. Alright. Uh, so you're in game as well. Alright. Mm -hmm. Stream is good to go. Hopefully, your X split doesn't hate you, so we might have a little more success this time. Uh, last time, I think. I was streaming VB last weekend, uh, the clan war last weekend, and it was a little bit laggy in that sort of thing, but I spent a bit of time afterwards uh, changing quite a few of the settings and that sort of thing, so it should be a lot more stable than what it was last week, um, and nah, with less enough. lag. Yeah, well, none of the settings really make any sense to me, so I just kind of improv, and that's the result I get. <laughs> And the game is underway. So the stream is up and running. Um, thank you for tuning in, everyone. This is a clan war between Clan Fade and VB. Down in the bottom, we have in the red the, the Zerg player from VB, Mulder. And up in the top, in the yellow, we have our Protoss player from Clan Fade, Hellstrom. Who uh, took our last game off the Terran player from VB, yeah. despite being like 60 supply deficit. <laughs> yeah, he seemed to be uh, a little bit behind in, in that game for a fair bit, so it was good. Yeah, good he just to had too many Colossus for our Terran to deal with, though. Yeah. So, is this the GSL version of the map? No, I'm not sure. Well, everyone's scouting, scouting non cross. So. Yeah, so maybe it's not, but um, yeah, if no. it's a GSL version, it should be cross positions and should just be scouting straight across the map. But uh, everyone's decided to go opposite directions. I'm just going to chuck it over to your view. No, I'm just going to jump in between the bases. There's nothing at all going on at the moment. Yeah, I'm just checking the stream and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Worst part about casting. First three minutes, absolutely nothing to talk about. Yeah. We have Forge Fast Expand, that's something. Uh, pull before gas going down for Zerg. A pretty fast expo here from Mulder. Maybe try and take a fast third as well behind that. Halson's just trying to get his nexus down. There we go. Okay, I think I fixed up the stream problem. <laughs> for some reason, it what was, was wrong with it. It was uh, it was frozen for a bit, and um, wasn't sure what was actually going on. Hmm. Huh. Tech errors everywhere. Yeah. Alright, so fix that up and you should be able to see that all planned through now. Cool, sorry about that guys. So, what did I miss there, plot? Ah, uh, 
Hellstrom, Forge Fast Extend, pretty standard at the moment. No gas at the moment, though. Uh, we saw our gas go down for our Zerg player. Uh, doesn't actually have any guys in it, though. It's got an expansion. Hasn't taken a third yet. First Queen coming up. So, pretty standard opening for PvZ. Um, no poke at the front uh, yet. Nah, -uh, double gas just went down for Hellstrom. See a little probe in the corner. Probably gonna chuck a pylon on that high ground. See a few lings moving out, probably just gonna scout the front, see what's up. So both players pretty happy just to sit back and uh, and relax, chill out. Not real much uh, tech. Just checking the third. Not, yeah. Oh, Roach Warren going down. Ooh, we've got some Stargate tech coming up. Uh. So we might see a few void rays to uh, push out in the not too far distant future. She could be pretty hurtful against those roaches. You can see if he's trying to take a third or trying to bust that front might not end so well for him. And the third comes down here for Mulder. Yep, and Link Speed started researching. And he's just scouted the uh, Stargate as well with, a, with an Overlord in the base. Yep, yeah, uh, see that's going to be a Void or a Phoenix coming out. Nothing recent, uh, yeah. being built at the moment, warped in at the moment, but uh, he's just setting his waypoints. Two spines chucked down at the front for Mulder. So there's natural. And an Evo Chamber too. Just to get those spores up and running. It still hasn't started anything from his Stargate yet, so should be starting something very, very soon. Uh, he's chucking down four cannons at the front. I guess he's kind of fearful of a roach all in. Oh, has he actually scouted the roach warren yet? Uh, let's have a quick. No, he hasn't. So he hasn't seen. He's only scouted the spawning really. pool. Yeah, not very much uh, scouting here from from Hellstrom at all. Yeah. Guess he's just a bit paranoid at this point. Five cannons at the front. Uh, just have a quick look at the vision of Mulder as well, and he knows that the uh, Forge Fast Expand is there, he knows the Stargate is there, and uh, both players still happy just to sit back and tech up. Yep, still nothing out of that Stargate either. See, plus one range being researched for Zerg player, and our lair about halfway done. Just have another bit of poke at the front, trying to get a gauge in once there. We'll see a lot of those cannons, we'll see how Mulder rela reacts to that. Still nothing out of that circuit. May just be faking out the, uh, the Zerg player with that Stargate, and uh, causing him to Yeah, maybe. Him. Well, he's forced a couple of queens out of him, and nothing else. Yeah, no spore crawlers yet. Mm-mm. A lot of drones in production. Taking a pretty heavy worker lead with that third. Yeah, definitely. Almost up to 60 drones to house 45 probes. Yep, and Hydra Den just went down, as well as another three gates for our toss player and his forge. And researching that roach speed, so trying to get into a bit of a roach hydra ball, I suppose. So, looks like these, these two players are going to try and uh, get, get maxed out with some tech and that sort of thing and then just clash so yeah pretty passive game so far Ling's working the way of the rocks on the side just kind of deny any kind of third that goes down for our toss player Ah, 
Uh, this observer's going to come down the bottom corner, going to scout pretty much everything. Right, he's seen the third, he's seen all of the natural. Hasn't actually seen the lair or roach warren yet. Or the hydra den. Observer's coming into the main now, could see all of the crucial tech structures, sees the hydra den, sees the roach warren, and Hellstrom knows exactly what's going on at this point. Should be some important information for him now, and he should be able to react accordingly. Um, will we be seeing Colossus out of this build? Ah, uh, yep, Robo Bay just went down. There it goes. So a lot of Hydras in production and Infestation Pit going down too, as well as Burrow being researched. See Overseer coming in, you can see that Forge upgrading, it's going to see... seen the Colossus Den, whatever the thing's called. Changeling dumped in the main. Where is that Robo Support there? Just down at the natural. Ah, oh, there we go, still building, yeah. Zerg player, he scouted it, I'm not sure if he clicked on it and saw what it was. See a Spire going down as well as Hive Tech. have a quick look at the unit counts here 67 to 56 workers uh, quite a few roaches quite a few hydras uh, pretty impressive army from the zerg so far not much at home for yeah he's also Hal. got the worker advantage as well yeah. yeah Hal's pushing out a bit probably either needs to do some kind of aggression or take a third because he's pretty behind in economy Exactly. He's just had a quick scout of Hell's third and didn't see anything ever pulled back, but Hell is dropping his third right now. That's a bit of lucky timing for her. Very. And Hive just about done, pathogen glands as well, and uh, Mulder is taking a fourth behind this as well. First Colossus is out, second halfway done. And Thermal Lance is just about finished as well. Still nothing out of the stuck head. Oh. Yeah, I think he may have been right just there to fake him out. Or he forgot about it, one of the two. Or he just uh, realised that he, that he did get scouted and, and decided to go a completely different tech path. Yeah, too. And... Nice. I don't think uh, Mulder actually saw the Colossus there, so with that poke with the Zerglings. So he's still going to be on the back foot here. But he is dropping a hell of a lot of spines outside of his uh, third and natural. Yeah, as well as a greater spire and infestors, so we're getting a pretty scary defense here at this point. Oh, that was a massive spine wall. Mm. Yeah, great spire, halfway done. Eight spines in that wall there. Massive creep spread pretty much his entire half of the map too. Yep. Three more gates going down for hell. Nice wall, just preventing any ling run buys. Uh, interesting thing here from hell, he's got his two gas at his third, but he's not actually mining out of them, so I'm not sure if he's forgotten about those two. I guess we'll see in the next minute or so. And we've got uh, movement speed increase for the observers. Just so they can keep up with the army, I guess, when he uh, when he decides to push through. Yeah. See a lot of spines at that fourth for our Zerg as well. Forming a nice little arrow. I don't think Hal actually knows about that just yet. Yeah, certainly has no idea that it's there. And we have seven Broodlords morphing at the moment. 
Uh, both players getting pretty much max. Definitely going to see some kind of aggression here. Ooh, we've got a fleet beacon on the way. Could we see a mothership? Yup, oh, possibly. I'm a bit of a Ling run by down on Hellstrom's third. Cleans that up pretty well. What's that? Not too much damage oh. done there. <laughs> mothership would be great. He's only got 18 supply to work with there. Yeah. See Zerg moving out across the middle here. Just taking that uh, middle section. Good old Broodlord's lagging behind. So we could be seeing a 200-200 battle very, very soon. Let's have yeah. a quick look at the upgrades here. We've got 1-1 one, one for the ground units for the Protoss and a 3-1 for the ground units for the Zerg so this is going to be a bit of a mismatch here and we've yeah. got a couple of investors submarining their way into the third Oh, I could actually take that Nexus down there's no cannons up yet and that's going to be a lot of infested Terrans and out come the infested Terrans oh, bye bye worker line working their way down the Nexus the whole army retreats back to that third and a Zerg player could push behind this we'll see what happens no reaction here from the from the central army, but no. Hal is going uh, to clean up this and just doesn't save manage it. to take yeah. up the nexus. Just saves that nexus. But uh, Hal's completely mined out in his main here, so he needs to transport them to his third. Falling a lot behind on economy here, almost double income for our Zerg player who's taking a fifth behind this as well. And the mothership is two thirds of the way done. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Mold is still, still positioning himself. Unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately we do have an Overseer in that army. And... Hell is going to pull, have to pull back here. He needs to pull back behind those, uh, photon cannons though. Well, There's about 10 seconds left on the mothership, he needs to buy time for that. Yeah. Oh, he's engaging, actually cleaning this up very well. Yeah, nicely done. Those, uh... Well, we've got 2-2 two -two on the, uh... On the Protoss units at the moment, so they're holding up pretty well. Pretty much destroying everything here. Stalker's taking care of the Broodlords, no more ground forces anymore. Wow. Uh, and a massive clean yeah. up there by Hal. Uh, Zerg did have 6k minerals though, and it's pretty much back to being maxed out. 26 Roaches and 15 Hydras in production. And we do have that massive spine wall down to his third as well. Yeah. So Hell's going to try and push, see if he can do any damage here, yeah, but he pretty to... solid defense from Zerg. And that Colossus gets a nice free Infestor kill as well uh, at the Watchtower. So, uh, both armies about even. Uh, and here comes the mighty mothership. Yeah. Do need some detection here from from Hal. Uh, he should be bringing those observers with him so he can clean up this creep. Yeah, it's spread massively. He's got a pretty massive map control. He needs to take care of that for a Zerg. We'll do an engagement here on that spine wall. So those broodlords going to be finished in about 10 seconds. Yeah. Wow. Mothership needs to get in with the army. No Colossus destroying those Hydras. And that mothership goes down damn quick. Yeah. <laughs> And Hell's probably going to be forced back here, those Brutals picking up things from behind as well. Yep. See so another 18 Roaches in production. Let's have a look at the unit counting station here at the moment. We have 70 drones to 52 probes. Um, absolutely no army here for Hell at the moment. He's only got the 9 Stalkers. And uh, Mulder is just Zerk like consolidating. To... Yeah, just kind of... Ah, uh, going to work his way up to that third. Hal's got nothing more than a few stalkers and sentries to deal with this. Those broodlords coming in behind as well. We're going to try and pick off that third. And make short wa short, uh, short work of this of this wall here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cleaning up that wall pretty well. Hal doesn't really have enough have enough stuff to deal with this. Completely mined out in his main, nearly mined out in his natural, doesn't really have enough income to hold this off. And I think we're going to see GG very, very soon here from Hal. 
He just yeah. doesn't have the production facilities to remax, and uh, yeah, he is pretty much all mined out. Yeah. Had a very late third, which kind of suffered his economy, I guess. But he had some good engagements, and uh, especially that one near the watchtower, he uh, certainly cleaned up that initial army from the Zerg, but yeah, the economy didn't really yeah. help him out. It forced him back into his um, back into his natural as well, but you know, 12 spines doesn't really do so well when you got Brutalots and Infestors as well. Only 105, 100 minerals left at the natural, and here comes the push from Mulder. Oh, I've got some Archons as well. Not sure if it's going to be enough to hold though, because that Zerg can just remax after this. Oh, and a free Colossus. <laughs> Ouch. Mmm, <laughs> saves it. Yeah. Not able to do much here. These Brutalors are just going to take their time and just mosey on through. Yeah, yeah and it's GG. GG from hell. Alright.